Welcome to this short demo on how to sign up and use Infinity Free as your hosting uh, web server for an HTML class. Now you can sign up clicking the Sign Up Now button and fill in your email address, password, confirm it, and then agree to the terms and check the reCAPTCHA box. And you can create a new account. It will then have you confirm your email address. And after you've logged in and confirmed your email address, and you might have to click resend to get the confirmation uh, email. Um, and then you click on the link to confirm your email address, you should be able to create an account. And that's like creating a website. I already created one website, but I'll walk you through creating another one. You just click create account. And um, you can choose your uh, domain that you want to want to use and you can choose from one of these. I use the infinity free app one. And then you just type some uh, subdomain that you want and maybe something that has your name in it. And you can check the availability. And if it's available, then you can uh, generate a username that's generated automatically for you and a password. I recommend leaving this password blank you won't really ever have to use the password and you can look it up later. This will generate you a really strong password. And then go ahead and confirm that you're not a robot and create the account. Now, after clicking on finish, you'll be taken to this page, but you might need to wait a while, uh, maybe a minute or two, and then refresh the page. And then when it says, don't see your website yet, you should be ready to go to the file manager right here. And if the file manager doesn't work, just wait a few more minutes, refresh the page, and then you click on the file manager. Now you'll see that there's no public HTML folder here, but instead an htdocs. And that's where you wanna upload your files. As you can see, it says, do not upload files here. So we can double click on that and get into our htdocs. And it says your files for your website be, should be uploaded here. Now you can um, go down to the plus and create a new folder. And the folder name, you might wanna name IT240 and click okay. And then we can double click on the IT240 to go inside of that. And then you can either upload a new file using the upload button, or you can create a new file down here and say uh, first.html. And once you create it, you're um, on a editor where you can edit this file and you can go ahead and paste in some HTML. So after you paste in some HTML, you can click save and close and you have your HTML file. Now there's no gonna be right clicking to view this page. So you have to remember your URL that you uh, use to create. So that includes your subdomain and the other domain. And so my URL is free IT240 hosting at infinityfreeapp.com. So you could go back to this page and copy it. And then go ahead and paste that in and add in a slash with the IT240 folder that you created. And then you'll be here with a list of directories and you can click on your web page to see it. Now, if you just paste in your domain, then you'll see this uh, welcome page right here, and that is um, the same page right here, and you can edit that page and have links to go to your other pages, but when you're just getting started, it's nice to just put the name of this folder at the end so that you can then have links to go to um, the pages that you want to visit.